What up, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra. Got a bag here with a large Coke and a large fry. A double cheesy jalapeno bacon cheeseburger quarter pounder with cheese. Extra cheese, pickles, tomatoes, shredded lettuce, extra beef, extra bacon, extra jalapenos, and extra cheesy sauce. If you like the fast food reviews, subscribe for more. Extra straw is always nice. Napkins. French fries. McDonald's has switched to a uh, never frozen beef. And they taste a lot better in my opinion with the with the change in the beef. I'm trying a, a new style of wand. Y'all saw that on my YouTube shorts. Playing a quartz crystal and the handle of the wand, it can be done. For like the end results, I'll make one or two for Etsy. I like McDonald's fries, they're good. We already know about them fries, but what do we know about this new bacon burger from McDonald's? The new bacon jalapeno cheeseburger from McDonald's. It barely fits in the container, man. I fucking made this thing huge. Spilling bacon all over the place. One second. Ah. Telling them jalapenos solo dolo, as Dame Joss would say. Ooh, that's spicy. Jalapenos are fresh. YouTube, look at this big old triple cheeseburger. This is ridiculous. Oop. It's also got extra cheese sauce. A jalapeno bacon cheeseburger, double quarter pounder with cheese. Add extra cheese, pickles, tomatoes, shredded lettuce, extra beef, extra cheese, extra bacon, uh, extra cheese sauce. Look at that massive motherfucker. Now, McDonald's is not a sponsor of YouTube. This is just free advertisement. I like jalapenos. I like bacon. I like the nacho cheese sauce action. So I'm thinking to myself, how good can this really be? Let's see. One of the things I really like at McDonald's is their, uh, their pull-apart donuts. They don't have those anymore. They've been discontinued, but I digress. So we're doing a food review for McDonald's new bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. And I loaded this bitch. 
with all the customized options I could on DoorDash. Happy Saturday, folks. Look at that bacon cheeseburger action. Do you want a bite of it? Yeah. See the extra cheese working in full effect. Let's get a bite of this quick tease in the camera, huh? Going for that bite right there. Juicy. Hold on, we need to uh, put something in our lap real quick. Yo, them jalapenos got a little bit of spice on them. Look at that cross-section, YouTube. Those jalapenos are nice. Woo! Spicy, but not too spicy. Those jalapenos taste very fresh. McDonald's, I've only had a couple bites of your new jalapeno burger. It gets the Cobra seal of approval. Hold oh, that is spicy. Yeah, jalapenos. I got a wand I'm working on. I'll show you the finished results. And if you like the way it looks, I'll, I'll make some more and sell them on Etsy. The McDonald's switched to a fresher beef. And the change is nice. Bacon falling out of the sandwich. Hope y'all having a badass weekend. Mm. That food hack I did with KFC was so good. Their mac and cheese barbecue chicken sandwich I did. This is just a hunk of unhealthy goodness. I really like the jalapenos on this. They're nice and spicy. Uh, the beef is really good. Mmm, that cheese sauce tastes like nacho cheese sauce, you know. It's got that classic nacho cheese sauce. Set that down for a minute and wipe my hands. <coughs> oh, yeah. I fuck with spicy food and McDonald's. Them jalapenos on your burger. Keep a distributor for your jalapenos. Woo! Got a little tongue bite, man. If you like spicy food, you gotta check out McDonald's new bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. Load that bitch with extra bacon, extra cheese, and extra cheese sauce. And uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles if you want. And extra beef because more beef is always better. McDonald's Coca-Cola is always on point. McDonald's soda is way better, in my opinion, than most fast food restaurants. It's the way they filter it. CO2 and stuff. This triple bacon monstrosity is where it's at, man. I'm liking it. Mm. 
spicy motherfucker too. Can Cobra finish this triple bacon jalapeno cheddar cheeseburger? Yeah, I think I can. And I think I will. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. This is a good burger. All those cheese, oh, goodness, right here. Look at that. Jalapenos, man. I don't eat spicy food as often as I used to, but I still fuck with it. Oof. We still got a little bit left. But yeah, yo, the new bacon jalapeno cheeseburger from Wendy's with the cheese and the bacon and the jalapenos. I'm here for it. If you're like super sensitive to spicy, then this will knock you on your ass, but I'm pretty used to it, so you know. Save these for later. Spicy. Ooh, making the sciences clear out. Very filling, YouTube. I like that burger. That was pretty damn tasty. Got some donation shout outs to give and we'll end the video. Thank you, ass, for your $4.20 donation to uh, Cash App. Their message is for Boner. That's hilarious. Elizabeth, thank you for your $20 to Cash App. For dinner, you're a good dude, Cobes. Thanks, Elizabeth. I appreciate it. I definitely had dinner and lunch. Uh. Mm. 
Yeah, McDonald's soda pop just tastes better, in my opinion, than any fast food restaurants. The way they filter their machines. Wendy's has the uh, customize your own uh, drink where you can do like a cherry vanilla Coke if you want, which is fucking sweet. But uh, McDonald's filters their soda pop just right. Well, my tummy is full of a spicy, beefy, bacony, cheesy load of goodness. Grantly, thank you for your ten dollars to Cash App for your your new album. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for listening to uh, Blunt Raps and Cobra Coils. People wanted a rap album. I delivered. I left the plugs in, you know, just to avoid any issues, but with the beats and shit, but that's beside the point. The majority of the beats were combined together with other beats, and the majority of them were all free for use. So I'm like, eh. And I left the plugs in to give the, the beat maker some credit, you know. Jared, thank you for your one dollars. No message. Noel, thank you for your fifteen dollars to Cash App for buy a six pack on me, homie. Those are all caught up. Beautiful. So we're ending the video with some shout outs. You know how that goes. One of my fans sent me some Carolina Reaper beef jerky, y'all. And, oh, I barely, do, I, I don't, uh, Carolina Reapers, oh, they're mean. I like spicy, but fuck. Carolina Reapers are mean, YouTube. So you're going to want to subscribe to my Patreon if you want to see me do spicy content. <laughs> he said, see what I did there? Play on words. Spicy content, he said. On my Patreon, I ate the world's spiciest gummy bear and then did the Toe of Satan challenge at the same bloody time. And that was just fucking miserable, dude. Thank you, Daniel, for your $1.23 to PayPal, he writes. Hey, been meaning to donate. Well, that's cool. You don't have to donate, but if you can, it's appreciated. You know, donate to my buddy Darth Linney's channel. He's going through a rough time, too, man. He needs to raise $4,000. I wish I had 8000 to give him, to be honest. I'd give Darth Linney a million dollars if I won the lottery. He's a solid dude. Thank you for the dr drinking stream the other day. That made my week. Well, I'm glad, Daniel. Thanks for watching. He has a buddy who was a real e-beggar and beggar and said, Every beggar needs to pay the bog. Here's to JFS. Cheers and keep rocking. Thanks. I don't like the term e-begging because every platform every famous youtuber has a way for you to donate to their channel amaranth has her twitch and her only fans dame drops and badlands chugs have cameo shout outs okay you know what i'm saying it's all about that youtube hustle i've seen what e-begging looks like and when you're sitting there demanding that people give you money Versus saying, oh, hey, you don't have to, but it's appreciated. There's a big difference. When you demand it and beg for it versus, hey, don't any if you can, it's appreciated, you know. That, that's the difference between being an, an e-beggar and an actual solid YouTuber. 
the truth, YouTube. I don't demand money from my fans. If you donate, it's appreciated. Uh, oh, excuse me. Mm. Well, I am now starting to become full, and I want to leave you with it.